The time when I'm creating goes so fast. And you just get so engulfed in what you're doing. Elements and materials, the old with the new, the ideas are expanding. <laughs> Putting it all together, that's part of the journey. I started off making hip belts, but then the jewelry just kind of took over. <laughs> I made my first necklace at Zuma Beads. I moved to Europe and I wore it in and out of doing modeling jobs and traveling the world. And I got a lot of compliments. I just kind of put that in my Vilodex. You know, one day maybe I'll make jewelry. London, Greece, Milan. Jordan and Egypt and Africa, traveling the world. That's when I kind of really fell in love with like what the earth provides. When I moved home, I pulled out all the things I'd collected, just trying to remember those places and the things that I've collected. I was kind of like a way to revisit some of the places that I'd been. One of the coolest things that I love about designing is the breakthroughs that I have while I'm working on something. Seeing a certain color next to a certain texture just by accident creates something empowered. I'll do some sketches, I might write some colors down, I might have different, just different fabrics or, you know, whatever it is just to kind of spark that creative flow. And once that gets going, it just it just goes and goes and goes. It's it's really hard to, to stop. When you're looking at all the different materials, you're also thinking about what you're gonna use it for. When you're picking out those things, you're looking at color, texture, shape. How can I use that? And sometimes you get lucky and you find something that gives you even a bigger breakthrough. It just opens so many doors in your mind, like opportunities and ways to expand on what you're already doing. Wearable jewelry is like wearable art. The way we can express ourselves through what we choose to wear and how we wear it, our own uniqueness, it's like a, a, a blank canvas. I think my jewelry represents freedom. I think it's just more about self-defining who you are. I just want it to be timeless. I want it to evoke the same sense of wonder that it has right now that I put into it. I want it to be timeless, a timeless feeling of gratitude. That's what inspires me the most. <laughs>